everyone. Open Harmony is a next generation open source operating system which is supported on several platforms and work on the internet of everything. On September 30, Open Atom Open Source Foundation, where Huawei officially donated the source code, has started a new chapter in Harmony OS open source project development and launched the latest version Open Harmony 3.0. According to the information, the Open Harmony 3.0 will pave our way to the Harmony OS 3.0 operating system. Meanwhile, report reveals that the Harmony OS 3.0 will launch, but there is no information available on this matter at the moment. Let's dive into the Open Harmony 3.0 and what this new version brings to the consumers. The Open Harmony 3.0 is based on the Open Harmony 2.2 Beta 2 and brings substantial improvements over the past version and optimizes the operating system. Let's move to the new features and functions. First, we will talk about the new feature for standard system that runs on devices whose memory is greater than or equal to 128 MIB. The user program framework supports service capability, FRED model, and supports file security access, PIN code authentication, ArcGIS compilation, toolchain and runtime, remote binding service availability, input method framework, and more. Second, new features for lightweight and small system that runs on device whose memory is greater than or equal to 128 KIB to 1 MIB. New lightweight distributed capabilities enhancement are added to support starting ability on the standard system from lightweight system. Support for soft bus capability, lightweight globalization capabilities, 31 new languages, new permission attribute feed and more functions are added. On the other hand, ahead of Open Harmony 3.0, Huawei also released Dev Eco Studio 3.0 IDE, which comes with a bunch of new features for developers to build apps for the Harmony OS 3.0 software system. That's it for now. If you like this video, then press the like button, comment below, press the bell icon, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to visit its newsroom.